segue with my Chicago vlog, um, because it's probably going to take a while. I just filmed both t the two parts of my um, Chicago haul that I'm super excited to show you guys. So those are uploading right now as well. And yeah, I'm going to film this while those are uploading. The most amazing city I've ever been. If you live in Chicago, you know that it is amazing. I love Chicago. I love it. It is so, 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 so fun. I love it. We stayed in the W. Um, it's located on Adams Street, the one that we stayed at. They had the city center one and something else, the lakefront one um, for the W's. Amazing. And I'm going to tell you guys what we did in this second. But honestly, if you have the chance to go to Chicago and stay at the W Hotel, please do. So I'll tell you about the hotel first. So first of all, the hotel is just amazing in general. Like everything about it is so super nice. Everyone there is so nice. It's it just makes you feel so comfortable to be in a big city that you've never been to before. I've never been to Chicago until a few days ago. Um but it is called the W Hotel and I think it stands for Wish. I'm not sure everything in the hotel was like Wish, but um, so when you walk in, it just smells amazing. I, like, they were burning candles, like, all day. And I guess the candle scent smelled really good. And right when you walked in the door, it, like, smelled amazing. Anyways, um, they had a restaurant and a drink bar where you could get, like, alcoholic drinks. Or they served smoothies and slushies, I think. And when you check in and you have your room, they give you some complimentary drinks. And if you get, like, some complimentary items... My dad chose the drinks so you can get, like, drinks, like, smoothies and stuff. And my dad got, like, some, like, alcoholic drinks, like, after dinner and stuff. Um, so, the, I guess the chairs in the lobby were shaped in a W because they were all white chairs and everything was themed, like, bright blue, purple, silver, navy blue, black, and gray. And it was so so sensual. So it's shaped in a W, I'm guessing, the chairs. We didn't really look. Um, and every, like, tiny little corner in the W, I guess it was, um, was a little decorative thing, which the one that we kept sitting at that had, like, tables and stuff, the one that we kept sitting at had a type, like, one of those old typewriters. So we played with that and actually did kind of print. And they had flat screens as well in every little corner. So it was showing, like, the W walk, um, runway thing, um, which was really cool, and it was so comfortable, and it was walking distance to Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, so, like, you can just go there for the morning, or they have breakfast served, like, every other hotel, every other hotel, and the, um, actually the elevator was 3D, like, it changed colors as well in there, um, and the walls had polka dots that were 3D, and it looked like you could stick your hands underneath them, it was so cool. And the room was amazing. Everything was white, silver, kind of like a burgundy color. And it had like a flat screen over the desk. And the desk had like a really nice chair and the snacks that you could buy. And it had a refrigerator, a closet, the most amazing bathroom that had a rain shower, um, shower head. Ugh, it felt so good to get in the shower after a long day of walking. And two amazing beds. Oh my gosh, I love them. So yeah, that was the hotel. So the first day we got there, we checked into the hotel. We got settled, and the Kelly, the girl Kelly, who was at the front desk, actually brought us up cookies and milk, but we didn't get there till later that night. And she was like, are you guys going back up to your room before you explore the city? And she's like, and we're like, yeah. She goes, okay, good. Like, she didn't tell us what was in there. She actually had cookies and stuff um, taken up to us, which was so nice. So we actually left before we got up there to look. And when we got back, we had, like, a little bit of a treat from after dinner. So the first night we went to um, Michigan Avenue, where we shopped at the Magnificent Mile. We went up on the John Han Hancock Building and had lunch, um, which was so good. And the most amazing view in the whole, where you could see... Um, like Michigan and the beaches and all the amazing buildings in Chicago. Um, so we took some pictures there and after Michigan Avenue we shopped so much. We went to Nike Town, Victoria's Secret, Forever 21, all the stores you could imagine. Um, 
So after that, we actually went back to our hotel and we got ready for dinner, which we went to Ed DeBevick's, which the waiters and waitresses are practically paid to be rude to you, like they're supposed to be. And they're hilarious and funny, and it's just such a fun place to go with your friends and family. So that's kind of like diner food. So that was the first night. The second night, which was Saturday, we got up, we went to Dunkin' Donuts, where we got breakfast, and, um, we, uh, Saturday, what did we do? Oh, yeah, we walked back to our hotel, we got dressed and showered and ready to go for the day. We went down to the Navy Pier, which is kind of, like, carnival-themed, um, sorry, I'm going pretty fast, um. So it's like by the lakefront, we went on a water taxi back to our hotel after we were done for the day, which was super fun. It's like a boat ride kind of down the little lake river thing. And we went through the fun house there. Um, we went on the boats. We were going to go on the Ferris wheel, but I was too scared because it's like super huge. Um, so we walked around there for a while. And then we actually went to the beach before we left on the water taxi and laid out there, swam a little. And we actually went to Bubba Gump, which is a seafood place. And that was actually really good for lunch. And then we went home. And then Sunday, uh, oh wait, we went home and we actually had Gino's East Pizza. Or Gino's West, Gino's North, Gino's South. I think it was Gino's East. I'm pretty sure. Pizza, which was amazing. It was graffiti all over the wall. We actually played, um... I spy, which was really hard because we'd name names and we'd have to look through like it, like there was words written over words everywhere. It was so much fun. So we went to our hotel and actually watched a movie. And then Sunday, which is the day we left the W, <laughs> I loved the W. We went to Dunkin' Donuts. Got wait, yeah, no, we went to where did we go for breakfast? I forget when we went for breakfast Sunday. But we got breakfast, ate, then we left, we packed our bags because we knew we were going to leave. And um, that day we didn't leave, today is Monday, we didn't leave till Monday. So um, we actually stayed at a different hotel because my dad had to visit clients and stuff and my sister stayed with a friend. So that day we went um, down to Taste of Chicago, which is a bunch of restaurant booths. <laughs> which you could taste food and eat food, and it was so much fun. My dad, I'm sorry, my dad's barking. Um, and then after Taste of Chicago, we met up with my sister's friends, and we went to Dick's Last Resort, which is, like, right by the lakefront, so you can see the boats go by. And that place is also higher to be rude to you, because those restaurants are just so funny and so fun. It's just kind of brightens up your day. So we went there with her friends, which was so much fun. And, um... After that, we went in my sister's friend's car. Well, the family friends. We've known them forever. So we'll just call them the family friends. So we went with them back to their hotel because um, they had to get settled and check in and stuff. And their view from their hotel was amazing. It was like the John Hancock view, except like lower, more towards the ground. Um, because we were on the 96th floor on John Hancock Building, which is, like, one of the tallest, maybe, besides the Sears or Willis Tower. Um, so, we were there, and we looked around for a little bit, and then my sister stayed with them for a second, and then we went back down to Michigan Avenue to go take a look, and then me and my dad drove two hours, maybe an hour, to a different hotel to get near where we were going to meet his clients, and we stayed at the La Quinta, which isn't the best hotel in the world. Not bashing them or anything, but it wasn't as nice as the W, so it was kind of a different change. Um, so we stayed there, and then we left this morning, which was Monday. Oh, for um, lunch we ate oh at Dick's Last Resort, and then for dinner we went to Cheddar's, which is kind of like... It's more of, like, just regular, like, go-out-to-dinner food. I'm not really, like, a diner, like, at DeBevix. And we got that. And we went back to our, to our, bleh, our hotel and rented a movie or watched a movie. And watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians while my dad didn't want to watch it. Um, and then, 
Today we visited some of my dad's client people. Um, we went to breakfast at Starbucks in Bolingbrook, which was an experience because my dad thought it was going to be a nicer part of Chicago, but it was the opposite. Um, I mean, it wasn't like trashy, like nobody would want to live there. It was just different from downtown Chicago, um, which is where we stayed. And um, after that, we went to go visit his first client and then drove two and a half hours to visit the second and stopped at Subway Subway for lunch and then drove three hours back home uh, and just finally got home. So I don't know what I'm having for dinner. It's 5.17 right now. And... My mom is still driving home. We're home. My dog was so happy to see us. He stayed with my sister's friend, um, or my sister's friend with his, their family, and he was so upset when we left, and he's now super happy to be home with his girls, and yeah, I think that's it. I packed a humongo bag because I always overpack, and I overpack so much in makeup. I overpack lip gloss and lipstick and eye, like eyeliner and mascara. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah. I think the next four videos will be themed with Chicago. This will be my Chicago vlog and then the two part Chicago haul. And I think I'm going to do what I brought in my makeup bag for Chicago, which was my Stila makeup case that I talked about. So yeah, I'll link, I guess I'll link the um, hauls down below. And maybe the what was in my makeup bag. And I hope you guys weren't too bored with me talking about what I did in Chicago. But seriously, if you have a chance or you really want to go to Chicago, go to Chicago. It was so exciting. We drove when we were driving. And we get, we were like 20 minutes away. We could see the city. And me and my sister were so excited. Like, it was just amazing. Stay in downtown Chicago, though. It's going to be traffic-y when you get there, and it's going to be super packed with people walking. But amazing time. I will never, ever, ever forget that trip. It was so fun. I loved it. The W was my favorite, all-time favorite hotel that I've ever stayed at. I love it, love it, love it. <sighs> That's all i got to say. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video weren't too bored with my haul, my vlog, and possibly my makeup, what I brought. And yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye. Pre-filmed videos coming up.